You know us with the Duan for year, we they bring you everything we need to understand about the Nigerian business landscape. My name is Frank Fagbo, and then we get a couple of stories we won't talk about, but then one of the major things we say we won't discuss about at this point in time, now how our Greek sector, they thrive. A lot of people, a lot of small persons, small business persons, they won't go into the business of agriculture. But then they do look and say the business of agriculture, no day, you know, really, really day formal. Sometimes you could just see picture of a person, maybe say they go farm, you know, they're attractive. So how we won't use, how we won't take, make this um, agri business, they're very, very attractive for small, small scale entrepreneurs and even big scale entrepreneurs. How these people feel you see them as very attractive sector to call a lot of people enter the sector because the business of food, is a business for every blessed day. A lot of people know if you do without food. My name is not Frank Fagbo, but I'm all going to some of these different stories we will get for you. As one of the major stories, we say inflation right now, inflation don't reach in. Ah, man, you know, just the increase. You go market, you go find out, say, okay, the prices of waiting, the price of waiting you buy last month, don't be different from waiting you they buy this month. How do all these things, how all these, all these things they happen? No be just about numbers, no be just about the 18.1 percent, we say 18.12 percent, we say inflation there at this point in time. But now about the living standard of Nigerians, about the living standard of each and every Nigerian, each and every business person. Go market, go buy rice, you go find out, say the price of rice don't increase. Go market, go buy beans, you go find out, say you don't increase. How these things, forget all these numbers, but then when you enter inside market, you go see as they come, you go see as market they use go. And then we get another thing for here, but then we don't get time to go into the different stories we will get for you. We won't just go straight into the business takeaway segment as we get one Ogbonge guest. Woman will be say stand by Gidiba. We understand everything where they happen for the agri sector. So she go sit down. She go explain everything where you need to understand about the agri sector. But then, before then, before she come, we get some other stories we will get for our tables right now. I say some other things where we say the UK government don't come out. UK government don't also talk, say, oh, more. We won't get our own digital currency. And as our digital currency, they go right now. They don't talk, say, man, say nothing with the few do because other countries don't get digital currency. You know, say, US right now, they don't get USDT. You get one thing, maybe say, they, they call USDT. Digital currency, now say, apart from that currency, maybe say, they put for inside your wallet. How you fuse get currency for the digital, digital space? Currency, maybe say, you know, if you hold, but now assets, maybe say, they get. Now the world of cryptocurrency. UK government don't enter, they don't back them up as they don't only unveil their own digital currency. They call this currency, um, the, the currency we say they get as, as the digital currency, it get different, different um, um, assets for the um, cryptocurrency value chain. And apart from that, another thing we we'll get for here, we say one other thing we say the hot, we say Elon Musk, which is now the richest man, hmm. richest man for the world, at least the, the first three richest men for the world, he don't come out, he has seen tweet something. Just one man, they control the market for the crypto market, for the crypto space, for just one tweet. Sometimes single tweet, you go see say some kind current, some, some kind assets don't increase. Sometimes single tweet also, some kind assets go decrease. So it won't tell you how powerful this man is for the crypto space. Now, why do they always come out? They tell you, say, if you won't go into cryptocurrency, make you be very, very careful. Because why? The market will be very, very volatile. It never be very, very stable at this point in time. So no be place where you say you could just sit down, stand by, get back, talk, say, okay, my assets, I feel invest inside that, make I no monitor anything, make I know they informed about what they happen for that space. No, the space in a very, very volatile space, so you guys be careful as to how you enter the space of cryptocurrency. But then don't go anywhere, because in a couple of seconds, you go see my Ubonga guest. We must sit down, talk about how the agri sector feels very, very attractive for young persons. My people, Luna, good, good morning. My name is Ali Baba. I say, make I just wake up this morning, make I greet you. Now. As on a day this morning, so may God they bless you now. On a bangago ripe. As it be so, on a no go use leg, knock stone, wing go cause on a wahala. The stone when on a go kick, na the one wing go make on a get better money. You know, say then talk, say if you use right leg, kick something, better they happen. On a left leg, no go hit, waiting go make on a disturb on herself. And I do greet you now. Una well done. Now they watch this good, good morning show. May God bless all of you now. And una banga go right as I talk. Now leave a basket make I greet you now. So, carry go. Good morning, sir. I do wear my boy, boy. A caro and your money, ja. O to tomorrow. There will no. Jama, the wine. In our kind of Queen Nigeria, or to tomorrow, in the Nigeria. Oh no, watch a high name. Kuna Kalong. 
Good morning, Naija. <laughs>
However, now they do billions of naira for inside the poultry. Very true. Now, small, small, it is start. start. My people say now from clap, we say they enter dance. <laughs> we need to they show young people say they need to clap small. And waiting, they go used to take clap, now the technology. They go leverage on technology. Okay, speaking of technology now, you know, say um, if we did leverage on technology and some of all these mechanized farming, now capital intensive project for the agri sector. True. And a lot of young persons, we say young entrepreneurs, we say just come out of school, we say some people don't even go business school, don't go study some kind of things about the theory, theoretical aspect of the agri sector. Now putting it into use, going to the farms, going into mechanized farming with all these capital intensive projects, how do you get access to capital? Because a lot of people don't talk saying that the major, major problem of the agri sector be that because many entrepreneurs don't get access to capital and knowing fully well, say if they go banks, that's double GD, they get their interest rates. How do you get access to capital so that you feel leverage on them, use build the agri sector? Okay. One thing when I talk, we say, you know, say most times we won't do everything by ourselves. Very true. We need to understand, say, no be everything we must do. Mm. We must understand where our strength lies and focus on it. If you be a young person, just come out from school. Very you true. don't need to buy tractor. What thing you need to do now to find person when we say they re lease or rent tractor. So that now when you need them, you go buy them. No, no accumulate waiting you no need. Mm. Now all these things with these small, small things. So we get hello tractor when we say they rent tractor to pe for, for people. Wow. When we say uh, pay as you use. Small, small, they, they come small, small. They never plenty, but they don't, they come small, small. We don't get people when we say they rent drones to people. Yeah. As you need them, they go rent them to you. When you use and finish, they go collect their team back. So you don't need to invest plenty money again okay. inside all those things. That's our one angle. Yeah. So we need to start to de collaborate. I they always they talk them. Hmm. We need to join us together. You do this one, you do this one, you do this one. When we put everything together, it will come this smooth and they very um, less expensive. Okay. The capital no go too much. Hmm. Secondly, if you won't go collect money from bank, yeah. the truth be say, you need to show say you sabi this thing. Okay. To learn and for book and to know and for practical are two different things. Okay. Because waiting that they teach now for school and waiting there for inside markets, don't be the same, don't be the same thing. No. Wow. Now when you don't come out for school, call enter market, now you go, you see go the see say no be led that. Yeah. You go call understand, say you need to package yourself and position yourself. Bank won't see how you take done try this thing before. Okay. Now we they call proof of concept. Okay, so speaking of proof of concept, we don't get time in just one sentence now. Um, the aggregate value, the aggregate value chain are one of the longest value chain for inside any industry. Mm. What will be the lowest hanging fruit where any young person if you hold on to? Say in a market, say in a logistics, say in a the farm, or which other aspect for the aggregate sector where you feel say they're very, very low. Maybe say low income and as we hang on onto. I go say make you enter trading. Trading. Just the trade them because when you trade them, you mm. go come understand the mindset of the market and wow. the consumer. Fantastic. So you don't hear me. You don't you don't hear my guest. She don't sit down. She don't explain everything. What you need to understand about the agri sector. She talks say make you enter the market. Now the lowest hanging fruit. Now the thing where we say as a young person, you know get money, but then if you enter the market, maybe you go into trading of agri commodities. My name is not Frank Fagbo, and if you catch me across all social media platforms at Fagbo Frank, we will continue the conversation on top business matter. Don't go anywhere because the Good Morning Niger show continues. <laughs>